Hi, I'm Lyd. I'm a musician artist who's still kind of new to all of this, which is why I'm so glad I have my partner Charles, who knows a little bit about everything. We're working on converting a 37-year-old bus into what will be a tiny house on wheels. We're currently in the last sprint of our build, adding those touches that are aesthetic and practical, because this is going to be our full-time home. We have two cats named Piper and Finn, as well as Tiny Gecko named Lowry. We upload every Monday. Welcome to the Battlestar Schoolie. Guess what? Charles. You got a stove. Oh. I'm so... <laughs> it's so big. Is it's intense, uh, but we're never gonna be cold. Ever. Ever. Hey, Piper. The shady butt. <laughs> Who thought rebuilding a uh, cat tree would be so fun. So, so that just fun. goes right there onto that one. Uh, over yonder? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> no, Dad, it's my tree! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just enough for one of them to sit on top. What's this? What's that? Is that a spot? Is that a spot that you can hop up? You can see it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah. And she screams as she claims her castle and climbs to her favorite spot. Oh, you're on top of the box? <laughs> <laughs> what exactly plan are you being up there, but sweet so we got some trinkets today and we are halfway well I, I'm halfway through buffing the top of this getting all the gunk and funk off but this is you'll see it once it's all together but this is a little oil lamp it's so cute primed a little cluster Sort the garage then? Uh, no? no? Too cool? cold? <laughs> Why would I hope that they're cold? Garage organization. This is the part that Charles and I have really been looking forward to. Putting up the big tapestries and not having to stare at insulation anymore. It's amazing. We use magnets to put our tapestries up and it sounds temporary because it is. We're trying not to put too much weight on the roof till we raise it next year. We splurged on huge tapestries in Society6, which were actually on sale, and then various bed sheets and old curtains to cover up the weirdly shaped areas. It actually works great for sound dampening, and we love the way it looks. Mistakes! Terrible, terrible mistakes! I got it, I can do this. I, the other day when we had friends over, we, I, I just was in the mood and I got, whoo, crawled up onto the roof to play guitar. I don't know how I did it that day without help. I did. I guess I used a taller chair. That was so cute. He's been aware of this hatch he's, and he sits in this area because the airflow. But I think hearing me up there singing and playing and seeing my feet, he's like, oh wait, up on the roof is an option. And so, oh, 
he was he was pleading his whole face. <laughs> yeah, he realized it was an actual place. It's uh, quite entertaining. So first week in the bus. It, it still feels a little like camping because we got to sprint to the bathroom in mom's house, but, but we're getting there. It, it, we're settling in, figuring out configurations that work, patterns that we are developing that in relation to the space. It feels more like home every day, and I, I really think that by doing what we're doing now, which is, I guess, kind of a soft move-in, we're, like, I, I'm at least discovering the things like, what, it, what do I reach for? What are the things I want to have super handy right there? And what stuff have I carried around for who knows how long that in this last week I haven't even considered <laughs> like any use for it. Like it's one thing where there's like, obviously you have like stuff that you kind of collect for hobbies and those sorts of things, but the stuff that you just kind of accumulate without thinking about it, like, oh, I'll need to use this. This sort of lifestyle leads to realizing you don't really need to. Yeah, definitely. Some friends have asked us what our new timeline is, and the honest answer is we don't know because we use the delay to just go ahead and do the permanent paperwork for our tags and plates. Now we're at Vermont's mercy. Who only sends out titles twice. So. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. But it this way, when we do hit the road, we'll be on the road with real tags as a motorhome, not as a bus. We'll have all of our, you know, T's crossed and I's dotted, so it will be much more comforting being able to be out on the road and do that. Yeah. I think this is a little bit more time with my mom and friends I haven't had a chance to say goodbye to because trying really hard to like live in exposure and stuff so we'll keep you all updated thank you so much for family that's been supporting and giving an extra little boost of help it's gone a long way and we really appreciate it all the support has really made a difference mm -hmm. kept us a little more sane and it's made doing this in less than a year possible <laughs> otherwise it really with all the setbacks we've had it wouldn't have been yeah it would be a long cry, a far cry from where we are now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks for being a part of this. We'll be back next Monday. Till then, if you really want to see how you've gotten to this stage, we have lots of videos you can check out for the build. And also, we have a webcomic now. I'm still figuring out how to put it up on stuff besides Facebook and Instagram. Now it's still Facebook and Instagram on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.